Hello, and welcome to the first edition of Adventures Under the Tree with the Wilderness Dave. My name's David. I'm known as Wilderness Dave or Grandpa. I'm doing this for my grandkids, but anyone can watch. God is trying to guide them in their lives and to help them to follow that path as the Holy Spirit leads them. It's an opportunity for me to share how to do some different tasks. Like today, I have a truck that won't start, the batteries died on it, and so I'm going to pull another vehicle up to it and get it started. And so I'm gonna show them how to hook the battery cables up and start a vehicle when the battery's dead. I'm calling this edition Jumpstart. So join me as we begin this adventure under the tree with Wilderness Dave. So we're in the truck and uh, we're gonna put the key in, see if it'll start. Lights come on, they're kind of dim though. I don't know if you heard that, it was tick, 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 and then it quit. Try it again. Nothing. So that tick, tick, tick means there's not enough power to the battery to get it started. So what we want to do is see if we can, uh, we'll check the cables to the battery and we'll see, maybe we have to jump start it. So I pulled the latch inside under the dash to pop the hood and it pops it just enough and then there's a lever down here in my truck it's way down here and we'll pull, push that, see the lever there, and that opens up the hood. Then we're going to find the battery. But right over here you can see we got the battery and uh, we've got negative or ground. And the hotline, positive, is on this side. You'll notice there's a plus right here and a minus here. Plus is where you get your power. And minus is where you get the return uh, to ground it out so that there's a completed circuit. And uh, so it looks like the, the connections are nice and clean. So as soon as my wife gets back from town with the Jeep, We'll pull it over here and we'll see if we can hook up some cables and get it started. And that sounds like her pulling in right now. So we got the Jeep here and uh, got a pair of jumper, jumper cables here. First thing you wanna do is hook them up to the dead vehicle. So we're gonna put, remember what I said, we're going to put the black on black. And the red on the red. Red's positive. Keep that in mind. Red's positive. So when we come over here to this Jeep, now in this vehicle, we're going to do the same thing. You don't want these two ends to touch because uh, it'll short out that battery, the dead battery. There may be enough power and that's not a good thing. So I hook that on there and it keeps me from touching the two metal ends together. And then we're going to put the red on the positive and the black right here on the negative. See the sparks? And it should be charging this battery. So now we'll let this charge up for a little bit and then we'll see if we can get the truck started. So you can hear the truck running. It's a little bit noisier. And so now we gotta unhook the cables. All right, so remember, we don't wanna touch these cables, so we're gonna take off this positive one here. We're gonna hook it to this cable here so it won't touch the metal. And then we're gonna take this one off here. really low so you know without that battery charged up that truck wasn't going any place and we brought in this Jeep that was going someplace and it revived it and it's kind of like our lives both running at one time and one died and we needed a pick-me-up we need someone to come along and give us a charge to help us feel better to to help us uh, get our lives back in line and that's what friends are for so we'll look into that in just a moment, but right now I'm gonna shut these vehicles down and get them moved out and taken care of. Hey, 
So we got the truck started and the Jeep all taken care of. And I mentioned a little bit about your life, needing someone to come alongside you and encourage you. So I just want to real quick read some scriptures verses for you. Uh, you know, now you get a chance, maybe you can help mom and dad start their vehicle if they're having trouble. We'll find this here, Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes. So I'm in, in Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verses 9 and 10. And it says here, Two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. That's two people, not two vehicles. Two people are better than one. For if either of them falls, the one will lift up his companion. But woe to the one who falls when there is not another to lift him up. You know, that happened a few times in the Bible. If you think back to the story of uh, the shepherd boy David, when he was living in the, the palace with Saul and Saul's son, Jonathan, they were good friends and they encouraged each other and helped each other become better friends. And by doing that, they were able to... David was able to overcome uh, attempts on his life and was able to get away safely. You know, there's another verse in Romans. I'm going to go there real quick, quick because this is important, grandkids and, and friends, that we have someone in our life that we can count on to encourage us when we're discouraged, that we can go to to share our problems and to get advice. And, and right now, as a young person, it might be mom and dad. You go to them and you can ask them questions and say, Hey, uh, I have a friend that's being mean to me. What do I do? You know, that's what mom and dads are for. That's what friends are for, to encourage you and to help you out. So in Romans chapter 15, verses 1 and 2, this is God telling us this is something we need to do. Now we who are strong ought to bear the weaknesses of those without strength and not just please ourselves. Each of us is to please his neighbor for his good, to his edification. That's just like that Jeep helping the truck get started with those cables going in between. The Jeep was strong, the truck was weak. That's the way Jeeps should be. Trucks should be strong too, but Jeeps are there to help others. You need to be like a Jeep in your life and help your friends that are, are struggling or maybe are discouraged. Help them put a smile on their face. Paul and Timothy did had the same type of situation. Paul was kind of discouraged and he wanted to know how one of his churches was doing, but he couldn't get there. He sent Timothy there to the church at... Uh, Thessalonica to encourage the church and to find out how they were doing. And then he came back and reported to Paul, hey, they're doing great. You know, when you accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, the Holy Spirit comes into your heart, into your life, and he encourages you and he helps to guide you. Just like the Jeep was an encouragement to the truck to get it started, the Holy Spirit and friends and family can encourage you. So you need to make sure that you are keeping uh, close friends and good friends near you and also to be a good friend and a good sibling to your brothers and sisters to encourage them and be a help to your mom and dad. You can encourage them too. So Carson Jordan and Zephaniah, I want you to be a good friend and encourager to those around you. And Lila, Trefina, Elena, and Adeliah, I want you to be encouragers to those around you. And maybe you guys can all be like Jeeps and help someone get a jump start. Thanks for listening. This is Grandpa or Wilderness State. And thank you for joining me on an adventure under the tree with Wilderness State. God bless. I hope this video has been an encouragement to you and will help you to live a life pleasing to God. If you enjoyed Jumpstart, an adventure under the tree with Wilderness Dave, 
please subscribe to my channel and may God bless you.